Good morning, boys. Good morning. I'm going shopping. Uh, and guess where I'm going? Eric? Gucci. No. John? Gucci. No. Eric? Balenciaga? No. One more time, John. Apple Store. Maybe later. Follow me this way. I know I do a lot of luxury shopping a lot, but like, I'm going to the drugstore. The, the what? what? Drugstore. The what? Okay? The drugstore. I'm feeling a little. I'll go for you. <laughs> you drugged out? I'm just kidding, you guys. I love the drugstore, and listen, I go there kind of often. There's no shame to that. I actually have a lot of hair care products from the drugstore that I use all the time, and I want to share that with you guys, but I also want to go find some new stuff. So I got today's look on, and I'm ready to head to the drug store. We all do it. I mean, it's really just like pooping. We all go there. So, we're in the hair care aisle. We have arrived, and there's a lot of things in here. Oh, what's this? There's some things you should stay away from in the drug store, and this is one of them. I better see none of you putting this on your head. You hear me? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, this stuff. Okay, actually really like this. Okay, this is exciting. This is exciting. Okay, first we're gonna talk about, ooh, this is so pretty. This looks a lot like Glitterati. Y'all come to my gig or what? I wanna get a few of these OGX products just because it looks like really pretty, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm very interested to see if it really compares to the other OGX products I've used. So why don't we do dry texturizing because I love texture sprays. Why don't we also try the Silk Blowout. Ooh, dry shampoo foam. I've actually never used dry shampoo foam before. That seems like fun, am I right? Let's try also the hairspray. Ooh, sugar. I'm really excited about it. I wanna try all these things. Okay, I feel like I got a lot from that line, but um, they had really good packaging. <laughs> so, OGX, good job. It's very important to be looking for sulf sulfate-free products when you're at the drugstore. Not all drugstores are bad, guys, and I'm not ever trying to say that, but you have to be weary about the bad products, and there are some. <gasps> Joe, what? what is this? Dry conditioner. Dry conditioner. So we're gonna put this to the test. Why don't we also try this one? Ooh, our basket is getting a little full over here. Texturizing beach spray, and again, love texturizing, so with the rest of it. All right, let's get a few of Not Your Mother's because a lot of people rave about this stuff, and I have used the uh, dry shampoo before, so I wanna give this a try. Let's get the original. More texturizing spray. Let's also put this to the test. I think this is, we're gonna do a lot of dry shampoo this day because there is a lot of options, but let's do the original of everything. I'm also really interested in this Dove. Like, I didn't even know Dove had a style in Caroline, so why don't we give this a shot? Let's do flexible hold hairspray. This seems like a good idea, and it's only $8. Like, thank you. I've definitely tried L'Oreal before, but some of it I've loved, some of it <laughs> I have not. But let's try some of their new stuff, which is the Iron Straight Heat Spray, which is going to make it very sleek, like that glass hair look. Let's try some of this. Let's try some of this high lift inject volume mousse, because this packaging is sickening and it looks like fun. Cool. That, this is about all that I'm gonna get today because I think I got plenty. Um, I'm, oh God, now I want more stuff. <laughs> I can't stop, I can't stop. Help me, help me. This is Carlos. He dyed his hair um, and didn't like it because of me, and now he's back to dark hair. <laughs> it didn't work out. It didn't work out for Carlos. I give it a discount. Oh, sweet. We love it with discount. I'm back from Dwayne Reed slash Walgreens. Apparently it's a, it's a collab. I'm here, there's actually nothing in this bag. Just a prop. So I actually already emptied everything out. I already put it in categories. I'm ready to test these products on Miss Manny Quain over there. Hey babe. After I got home from shopping, I was so tired that I took a nap and I took a nap for a couple hours. So I am ready to go now and I'm ready to test some products and let's see how they all work out. So let me grab this mini queen and let's get it started, baby. Whoop, let's do it. This is in fact 
the love of my life, Miss Manny Crane, and she is looking greasy because I just put so much oil in her hair. That way we can test these dry shampoos properly. So why don't we start on this side of her head and let's test our five dry shampoos. Now, today's lineup for dry shampoos is consisting of Not Your Mother's Texturizing Dry Shampoo. So it's a little different than their other ones, but we're also gonna test Not Your Mother's Original because <laughs> Who doesn't love an original? We're also gonna test some dry conditioner. So I guess this is kind of like a mixed category. I'm not gonna lie. So we're testing dry shampoos, dry conditioners, and dry texturizing sprays. We have also Batiste, which is a cult favorite, cult classic. Is that what you call it? I don't know. I'm just trying to like go with the trends here. I hear people say it all the time and I just wanted to like use that word for something. This is the original cleaning classic Baptiste dry shampoo, which is a, can't wait to try it. And we have the OGX dry shampoo foam. So we have all different kinds of dry shampoo things going on here. And I am ready to test all these new different products. I mean, not really new, but like different. Let's do an exciting one first, which is the OGX dry shampoo foam. I've used all kinds of dry shampoos. I mean, powders, paste, regular ones in a can, but I have never used a foam, so I'm excited to try this new thing and maybe it'll be my new favorite thing. I also wanted to mention that I have no problem with drugstore products. I have used a lot of them. And I don't think you need to always use one product from one line and only stick to that line. I think there's so many different products out there and I love to dip into other care care lines besides my own. It's important that I venture off and try other people's hair products and see what other people are doing on the market. That way I can have my own hair care line be the best it possibly can be. So we're gonna now do this bamboo fiber full dry shampoo foam. So beautiful packaging right off the bat. It says with bamboo fibers and soy proteins helps boost body absorb oil and freshen and beautify. Cool. Shake well before use, dispense a dime size amount and apply it directly to roots, massage and absorb excess oils. And we're gonna apply it to this side of her head. Oh, okay. Wow, this smells absolutely delicious. It smells like just tropical vacation. Kind of smells like sunscreen, but it's kind of nice. So, all right, we're gonna apply, I guess, like this. Just put it in the hair. Oh, whoa, okay. So, clearly there's a lot of alcohol in this because, oh my, because after that immediate like smell of island getaway it goes away, you immediately smell like heavy amounts of alcohol, which is just what I expected because that is how you absorb oils with alcohol. It smells like I poured isopropyl alcohol all over her head and it does leave her hair wet. So it doesn't say to blow dry. Okay, it's drying though because it is alcohol, but Okay, so we're still working it in. It's definitely getting drier as we go. Definitely absorb the oils. Like this is what it started with. And now you can see, let me brush it real quick. Okay, wow, actually, oh, wait, what? Wait, this is amazing. So it pretty much dissolved all of those oils and left her hair really nice and shiny and the alcohol smell did go away and her hair doesn't feel like it has like that chalky cast that some dry shampoos give the hair like this would even be perfect on really dark hair because it doesn't leave any residue behind like look at that okay really like this really like this only thing i'd worry about is people with curly hair using this because it is so wet it might frizz your hair back up so you might want to stick with something that is aerosol but for people who don't have curly hair wow this made a huge difference really like it okay cool so this is definitely gonna stay in my toolkit product kit because that was really nice and absorbed a lot a lot of oils and left the hair really soft because a lot of dry shampoos don't leave your hair soft and this one really 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 did. So this is what we started with, guys. It was really oily, and now it's completely not oily anymore. Kind of really into that. So, yes, OGX, thank you for this. This is really dope. But again, people with curly hair, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> we already have the dry shampoo up here, so why don't we move down the hair shaft and try the dry conditioner on these ends? So, the next brand is called Cake, and I have never heard of this before. It is called the Lox Smith. 
So dry conditioner, if you guys don't know what that is, um, it is not a very common thing that people use a lot, but it is a actually very helpful, nice thing to use. I almost like to call it a fabric softener for hair. It's when you want that smoothness on your ends, but you don't want like that heavy weight that comes with oil, but you don't want it to weigh your hair down like oil does. So it really just smooths your ends without adding any kind of like residue behind, if that makes any sense. When you have that second day hair that's kind of knotted and you kind of can't brush through it, dry conditioner is actually really great for that. It says, totally to die for it. Instantly polish your hair and leave your locks softly restored and superbly shiny. This feather light formula transforms unruly second day hair into tame lustrous hair without the harsh chemicals. Shake while it's bright at least 15 centimeters from hair. Let's shake it up, let's shake it up, let's shake it up. And her ends are actually kind of gross right now because she's been through a lot. So let's see how much this really brings them back to life. She's got some dead ends on here, honey. And so does everybody, so like it's fine. Huh, it smells good. I don't know what the scent is. It smells kind of like candy. Maybe it's supposed to smell like cake. Cool, let's brush that through. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my God. Wait, these products are actually sickening. Right off the bat, I can definitely tell that I can brush through this hair so much easier and it's so soft. Again, it feels like I put fabric softener on the hair, but it's, it's really nice. It's very subtle difference, but it leaves that kind of like a little bit of a shine, is not heavy, and makes it really easy to brush your hair out and gives that second day hair like a little bit of a boost it needs. So love that. Again, you guys, an awesome product. So we're really waiting at the drugstore today. Take the locksmith and highly recommend. Let's move on. Okay, so this has been a product I've been meaning to try for a long time, which is the Baptiste um, dry shampoo. It's just the original version of it. And we're gonna try it on the other side of her head. She's nice and greasy on this side, as you can see. So we're gonna try this. Um, and it just basically says how to use a dry shampoo, which we all, I think, know by now. And so we're gonna try and get all this oil out of her hair. Let's see how good this works. I'm kind of wondering how this will smell. They did have a few different formulas with different scents, but I wanna try the original just because I feel like the original is always the best, you know? Let's shake this up and let's start applying to Miss Many Queen. Oh, that ain't it. Okay. Oh, it smells like toxic chemicals. Immediately, it's leaving a large white cast on this blonde hair, which is surprising because usually you only get a white cast on like dark hair, but look at this. You're getting a white cast on blonde hair. That is not a good sign. Then. Ew, she looks like she has gray hair now. Okay, let's brush it through. Ew. Ew, it's like catching in the oils. Oh, this is tragic. Do you see that? Ew. Oh my God, look at her roots. Look how white it made them. <gasps> oh, I'm offended by this stuff. And it's like, there's like chunky pieces of it. Like it all got caught in the oils and like chunked together and my hands are like now white as hell. Compare it to this side. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This side was amazing. Like this foam dry shampoo I used, you guys go get it because it is Unbelievable. And this is so gross, you guys. I am immediately throwing this away. And if you have this at home, please throw it away because it is revolting. I don't know how they have made such a huge business off of this because I am not happy with this at all and would not recommend anybody use this. Ew, does not work. Baptiste, I'm so sorry, but please reformulate or do something. And it's not even that cheap. So you're doing something wrong, clearly, or something right, or I'm just crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, up next we have another very much cult favorite, which is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo, the original version, like I had said. The regular size one retails for $6, so it is a lot cheaper than the Baptiste Days, and hopefully it also works better than that one. It is an aerosol dry shampoo, and we're gonna try it in her bangs here, and they are nice and greased up, so let's do it. Let's do a little try. Definitely smells a little alcoholic, but that's fine. That usually goes away. Unfortunately, it is leaving a cast. Oof. Guys, damn. That is what you call a cheap dry shampoo. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Not your mother's, damn. I was actually really rooting for this one and it smells so bad. And it left a white cast, just like the Baptiste one. I don't know how both of these became so popular when they both smell and don't work. I am confused. Would not recommend. These are terrible. I'm so sorry, not your mother's. And I'm so sorry, Baptiste. But I'm sure not all of your products are bad, but I wouldn't use this a client. Sorry. <laughs> Not happy at all with those. Thank you, but no thank you. Moving on. Okay, this next product is a texturizing dry shampoo. So it's a dry shampoo, but it's gonna have more texture. <laughs> 
That was the dumbest thing I've ever said. What that really means is like, it just has more of a grit to it. So I do actually like that because when I use dry shampoo, I'm using it to style a lot more often than I'm using it to absorb excess oils. So we got our last section here that is nice and greasy in the back of her hair. Okay, so hopefully this other Not Your Mother's product gets a little bit of a better test. Let's do the same thing. It's nice and greasy back here. Okay, immediately has a better scent. This is actually the toasted coconut version, so I like coconut. So if you like coconut, it definitely smells coconutty, as you would expect. <laughs> oh my God, what is this? What? Is it me? Am I doing something wrong? Because this is leaving a humongous white cast. Terrible. I mean, even if I spray farther away, it's still leaving a disgusting white cast. And even if I brush it through, it's hardly even absorbing the oils. <laughs> what is this? Not your mother's, what happened? What? Why does everybody like this product? Because it's easy to get from a drugstore? Like, it's not even good. Okay, so I don't feel any texture. <laughs> I'm not impressed. It's kind of sad. Sorry, not your mother's, you guys. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's supposed to absorb and add texture and make it beach ready. So I'm gonna have to say no on this. This is not good either. It leaves a white cast again. Don't use this on brown hair for sure. Even on blonde hair, this is not working good. And I don't feel any texture. <laughs> So I don't know what that's about. So those are the dry shampoos and dry conditioners and stuff. The two that I really liked were, of course, the dry shampoo foam, which was amazing, and the uh, cake dry conditioner, which was also amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, moving on, let's go faster. <laughs> and our next product we're gonna try is this one, which again, really excited about. I think I've said that many times in this video, but this one is really cool because it is the L'Oreal um, Advanced Style Collaboration, where they, apparently it says, the special edition packaging designed by international artists, blah, blah, blah. Okay, an artist designed this and it is the artist collaboration series. Just kidding. I thought it was like hair artists like collabed on this stuff, but apparently it's just new packaging. Okay, so it's just a new look, um, but it's called Boost It and it's a volume inject mousse. I just really wanted to try a new mousse because I do really like mousses. They're really fun to get that nice big volume that lasts all day. It's lightweight. Aerated mousse gives lifeless hair a volume for 24 hours. Infused with thickening agents, hair is boosted for a long-lasting, bouncy, and volumized look. Boost it evenly throughout damp hair, style as usual. So for this, I am going to do what I would usually do with mousse, which is apply it onto damp hair, mostly on the root, and then do a nice pin curl set, and then let it down and see the amount of volume we end up getting in that root. And usually there's a little bit of like stiffness left at the root, so we're gonna see how stiff it really gets and if it works well. So I'm gonna dampen it and apply it really quickly. So let's just do a section right here. All right, and I'm gonna apply this and see how it smells. I keep getting out of my nose, oops. <laughs> it smells kind of fruity, I kind of like it. And we're just gonna rake this through the entire strand. Mousse also gives a lot of holes to the hair, so if you wanna do like a pink curl set and make your hair wavy or curly, just do like a really nice blowout with a lot of body, this is really gonna help you with that. So I'm a big fan of mousse. It is a great thing to have at your disposal. So already I feel a lot, a lot of texture in there and I like that. I really do like texture as we've talked about <laughs> throughout this entire video. But let's give this a quick blow dry and let's see how it performs. All right, already we're getting nice lift and it's not greasy at all. So we're gonna let that just sit for a moment in a pin curl because this is what I would typically do. And let's just see how much that really stays. As we're letting that sit for a moment, let's try another product. It's by the same line, L'Oreal Paris, the Iron Straight Heat Spray. So it says our high performance lightweight Paris spray offers three day sleek hair, protects from heat damage, calms frizz, seals and shine, blocks humidity and conditions for a sleek style to last three days. So unfortunately I can't find out if it's gonna last three days because um, this is not a real head, but we're gonna see just how like real sleek it makes the hair. This is just air dried hair without anything in it. So let's see if it really smooths out quite nicely. Apply on damp hair and style with heat. I'm gonna blow dry this in, just like the, the last one. So we're gonna dampen this, boom, 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 bang. Ooh, a very fine mist and we love a good fine mist. So that is great. Also smells delicious. It smells like fruit and like sugar, so. <laughs> Perfect. And let's blow dry this in. Wow. Okay. So this is air dried over here. This is blow dried. And even feeling this, like it's soft, but like this is so 
sleek and soft. It even like hydrated the ends a bit. Really enjoy this. Okay, love that. Again, I can't test the three day stay thing that they claim, but really, really enjoying this product. Love that, okay. And it didn't add any kind of grit. It just feels like very healthy and nice and it's not oily. Really like this product. Awesome. Cool, love that. Okay, and let's check back on our Boosted Volumizing Mousse by L'Oreal over here. We've had that set for like probably five minutes now. Let's see what we get here. Oh, and typically I would just brush this out gently. Okay, so you can see that we're getting good projection from the scalp. I put quite a bit in there and I'm definitely not really getting any kind of hold that I can feel. I like when volumizing mousses have a bit of like texture up here. That way you can really feel like there's kind of a, a grip you're getting on the roots. That's what's really gonna keep the volume staying for a long period of time. But I feel like this is just getting volume because of the pin curl clip. I mean, it's just really soft and it feels nice, but Oh, I'm not feeling anything really. I mean, that's just from the pink curl, but like this is kind of dead and lifeless. So this is gonna be a no for me. Um, unfortunately, this one's not the best. This one worked great, but uh, sleek it, yes. Boost it, no. Okay, moving on. All right, this is the quick drying thermal spray. So this is gonna protect your hair from heat and it's gonna decrease your blow drying time apparently. So we're gonna try this on this strand of hair. I'm gonna really wet it down and we're gonna see just how fast this helps dry the hair. So let's really wet this down. It just says to spray it on and comb through, perfect. I don't know, doesn't really smell like much. Kind of nice, okay, I like that. And we're gonna really get it in there. Usually drying aids like this have a lot of alcohol in them and that's how they work, but just be careful if you have very lightened hair chemically because it will dry your hair out. Okay, let's see if this cuts down at all on this drying time. Okay, so what I'm immediately noticing is that it is nowhere near as soft and as shiny and full of life as this last strand is. You can tell this one's very smoothed out and this one is kind of like puffy and like not good. I did blow dry in the exact same way with the exact same brush and blow dryer and I don't feel like it cut down on blow dry time at all. And it just kind of left this kind of residue on the hair, just dry feeling. I, I don't like the way that looks at all. <laughs> So this is a no go for me. All right, bye. Okay, we have five more products to go and we're gonna go bust through this really quick. So we have Hairspray now and we have one from OGX, which I found that I like some of the products and don't like some of them. So we'll see with this one. And we have Dove Style and Care, which is so weird that Dove makes hair products. Since when do you do hair products? Stop, or I don't know, maybe stop. I don't know, we'll see. This is Flexible Hold Hairspray and this is Big Hairspray. So they're both at a level four of hold. So let's see how both these work and how these smell. We're gonna try it on this piece of hair and we're gonna do like a nice curl with hairspray that way we can just test how these work for holding curls in our hair and it's a good way to test it so I'm gonna do it okay great perfect so first up we're gonna use the dove one which is a flexible hold hairspray and it's just yeah guys it's a hairspray this fast drying non-stick formula lets you enjoy a frizz proof touchable style so it's supposed to be touchable it's not supposed to be hard natural movement and shine we're gonna try it on this piece all right what was that three four five we'll just do five like that Okay, immediately, has a fresh smell. So far, I feel nothing on the hair. And that was a very, very fine mist. Let's just put a little bit more on there. It's literally not doing anything. I would not give this a level four of hold out of five. Whatever, we're gonna try and curl it. Let's try and see if this is activated by heat at all. Okay, so we definitely have some heat activated styling going on by the hairspray. I definitely feel the hold now. Yeah, I definitely feel a bit of hold. I would not call this a level four hold. I definitely think this is a very, very light hold hairspray. Let's just rake through it. If you're into very, very, very light hold hairsprays, this might be your go-to. Um, it definitely gives you a workable, nice, light hold with a lot of shine. It's quite pretty, but I wouldn't call this like a medium hold hairspray. And it smells fresh. Yeah. It's decent. I don't mind that one. Not my cup of tea. Moving on. Up next, we have another OGX product. This is supposed to be the same amount of hold as the Dove one. Let's try it on this strand. Okay, immediately, look at You're getting hold. Like this entire strand is just like glued together now. That is what I'm expecting from a medium hold hairspray. The scent isn't the greatest, but let's now rate this through and put a curl in it. Ooh, see, I like that. You can very much feel the hole going on. Look at that bounce you get with that. It really adds 
a ton of nice hold, but it isn't like stiff or like gelled feeling. So that's great. Okay, love this, like this. This is better though. OGX, big hairspray, recommend it. Perfect, moving on. So I really went in with the OGX products and the last two products I have to try are the Aspen Extract Texture and the Bamboo Fiber Full, which is, they're both just texturizing. This tossle spray and this one is dry texturing finishing spray. So we're gonna try both of these, but um, I'm realizing that I probably should've just picked one brand to go with and just tried all their products because I just have so many different products I wanna try today. And if you guys like this stuff, but you want more of an organized video next time, let me know. Next time I could just pick one product line and go with that. Let's see. This this one says, as it's gonna give you the loose, leaved in look, separates, elevates, and defines. Textured without the dry out. Ooh, I love that. Okay, we're gonna try it on the last section that I have not yet tried anything on. And let's just see. <laughs> so, it's really wet. I wasn't expecting that. Let's try this again, because apparently you're supposed to really shake it up and then spray very lightly on the hair, because this just soaked the hair. I mean, we don't want that. Oh. Um. This ain't it. I'm not getting any texture here. Not even a little bit. It actually made the hair softer. It's supposed to add, add, add mess and height. Girl, all this did was weigh the hair down and make it shinier and moisturize. Somebody must have mislabeled this because I'm not understanding. Um, yeah, I don't get it. I used it on this piece. I'm sorry this is so messy at this point. Do you guys see texture there? Because I don't see anything. Okay, this is an absolute no-go for me and it also has a white cast. Not working for me. So OGX, Fiberful, Sugar High, Postal Spray is gonna be a and lastly, we have made it to the last product. Let's try the natural finish Aspen Extract Texture. It gets that matte, messed up look with day one hair with a kick of body and flexible hold. This sounds more up my alley. Shake well, finish look with 10 to 12 inches away on dry hair for the textured hold. Use fingers to achieve desired look. I will definitely use my fingers, okay? I don't know what it smells like. Okay. So we are getting texture uh, with this product. You can see that. Ooh, I feel a stickiness too. I like that stickiness that texturizing products give you. Actually, not bad. If I were to actually like put some curls in this and then put this texture spray in, it would look really nice. Clearly, I don't have it curled or anything right now, but working with straight hair and adding just a little bit of movement with my fingers, it is working. So I am happy with that. And it's giving that tousled look without making it too, too firm. And yeah. Clearly I didn't do a very good job styling it right now, but this actually feels very nice. It's lightweight. It adds a lot of nice texture. It just kind of smells like, like kind of fresh hair product smell. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's see. Would use this. I'm so happy we ended on a good note. Thank God. Okay, so this worked amazing. Oh boy, oh my God. What a day of testing hair products it has been. I spent the entire day looking for new stuff I haven't used before, new stuff that I can try from the drugstore, and I found a lot of great things and a lot of really bad things, but overall, I'm very intrigued with how drugstores have evolved and have a lot cooler products now than when I was growing up. Really enjoyed a lot of them. Hopefully you guys took something out of this, and if next time you wanna see me do this video differently, doing different brands or doing shampoos and conditioners, I totally can, just let me know. And give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I love you. And of course, another product that I can highly recommend is my own Glitterati by X Mondo. Use this to smooth your hair out, add hold and moisture and a touch of extra fine mica, which is glitter, but it is safe for the environment. So check it out, link below. Check out X Mondo hair on Instagram also for new product releases coming up. Follow me on Instagram, BradMondoNYZ, and thank you. <laughs> so much for watching, I love you. <sighs> Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.